It began when um, I had a really bad morning. I had this conflict with my father and I couldn't concentrate in school. Um, he came into my office one morning really upset, really emotional. It was something that he's been, you know, dealing with with his family for years. And he was at that breaking point where he just didn't know what to do, didn't know where to go, didn't have anybody really to talk to who would be able to really listen to him. It was a lot for me to share, especially to an adult I didn't know. I just gave her my story and it's pretty hard. There were some major family dynamic issues, some safety issues, and so he was removed from the home for a period of time. And during that time, he was living with um, with a family friend or a guardian while his family was also receiving outside counseling and therapy that was recommended. Once I was able to um, share that with somebody, how I was struggling um, outside of school, um, it made coping a lot easier. It was sort of like this burden being lifted off my shoulders because I kept it all inside. Through, you know, the outside counseling as well as him getting support on school with CIS, he was able to better communicate, um, you know, how he was feeling with his family and work, working on some of those family dynamic issues that were causing a lot of the problems and causing him to be really distressed um, and really affect his mental health and his academics. I'm so incredibly grateful for Ms. Thompson. She's my confidant in this school. She's always there whenever I'm struggling emotionally, academically. She gives me the best advice, like homegirl Miss Thompson's always there for me. I feel very fortunate to have met Brennan, you know, at the beginning of the year. To come into his life at that pivotal time, CIS was able to really help him to process this traumatic kind of event that was happening to him. It wasn't always an easy road throughout this year for him, but I think because of the constant support, the constant encouragement, I think that that really helped him to, to push forward and to not give up and not turn to other, you know, means of coping in unhealthy ways. The year ended with um, me uh, going back to my parents' house. Uh, it ended on a very high note because I saw a lot of things in my life that were toxic and a lot of the reasons why I wasn't able to fulfill like my greatest potential is because I was dwelling a lot in my feelings and dwelling in a lot of my like of what was causing me pain and CAS. Um, taught me how to be more optimistic and to be more hopeful.